Hi guys, my name is Melissa, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about canceling. Canceling is a technique that you can use in math to make solving equations easier and simpler. So to first learn about canceling, we're going to be looking at an example that uses canceling to solve the problem. So let's look at our first example. Captain Kraken has 555 gold coins. He finds a treasure of 192 coins, then spends 192 coins to pay for ship repairs. How many gold coins does Captain Kraken have now? So um, we're given a word problem or we're given a situation, right? And so first we need to set up an equation or an expression that models the, or that models, or we need to set up an equation that aligns with the word problem. And so Captain Kraken has 555 coins. So we start off with 555, and then he finds a treasure. Now, finding a treasure means that he has 192 more coins, right? But then he spends, which means we subtract 192. And now we want to find what this equals to to figure out how many coins he has now. Now, this is where canceling comes together. So, if we have this expression and we're trying to solve this, um, of course, we can do 555 plus 192. That gives us 747. And then from there, we subtract 192. And so that gives us 555. Now, of course we can do that, but this is a bit complicated and it's hard because we need to subtract and add numbers. Now, instead of doing this, there's a much easier way to solve this. And this is by using canceling. And so canceling means that when we have the same numbers, like 192 and 192, but then one is positive and the other one is negative. Now, if we, if we subtract a number from itself, we get zero, right? So we have three. So whatever number we have, if we subtract itself, then we get zero. Now that's the concept of canceling. If we have positive 192 and negative 192, we're basically subtracting from itself, and that's going to give us zero. Now, this technique is called canceling because the positive number and the negative number, when they're the same number, they cancel out like this. Because these two eventually add up to zero, so we call this canceling out. Now, based on canceling, and since we know that this is zero, essentially we're, the final result is going to be 555 because it's the same as 555 plus zero. Now using this concept of canceling, we're going to solve some practice problems today. So first we'll go over number 63 together. An elevator starts in floor 15. It goes up 78 floors, then down 78 floors. What floor is the elevator on now? Again, we're gonna set up the equation. So elevator starts on floor 15, and then it goes up 78, so we add, and then it goes down 78, so we subtract. What floor is the elevator on now? Again, we have the same number, 78, 78, but one is positive and one is negative. And so these two add up to zero and we can cancel them out. 
Now that's going to give us 15 plus zero because these two canceled out is zero. So our final answer is 15. So it's in the 15th floor. Now let's look at problem 64. A train carries 136 passengers. It stops at a station where 75 passengers get on and 36 passengers get off. At the next station, 75 passengers get off and no passengers get on. How many passengers are on the train now? Now this question or this problem is a little more complicated and harder than the other problems that we solved, but we can still use canceling to make this problem a bit easier. So a train carries 136 passengers and then 75 passengers get on, right? So they ride the bus or they ride the train. So we add and then 36 passengers get off, meaning that they're no longer in the train. So we subtract. Now at the next station, 75 passengers get off. We subtract and no passengers get on. So the, so the situation can just stop here because no passengers get on. And so how many passengers are on the train now? Now, if we look carefully, we have 75 and 75, where one is positive and one is negative. That means that added these two give us zero, so we can cancel these two out. Now canceled out, we get 136 minus 36 and um, 136 minus 36 gives us 100. And without doing vertical subtraction, we can know that it's 100 right away because um, we have 36 here. So basically we're subtracting the tens in ones place, so we get 100. That tells us that there's 100 passengers on right now. So um, we're going to solve question 65. And before we move on to the next page, just to make sure that you guys have understood everything, I'm going to be giving you guys two minutes to solve this problem. And then I'll be going over the solution to question 65. So I'll be giving you guys two minutes and if you guys need more time, just always feel free to pause the video when you need to and then come back to it.
Okay, so we'll look at question 65 and go over the solution. So Grog's mom bakes 12 oatmeal cookies, 15 sugar cookies, and 24 chocolate chip cookies. Grog eats 6 oatmeal cookies, 12 sugar cookies, and 15 chocolate chip cookies. How many cookies are left? Now, even though we have different types of cookies, oatmeal, sugar, and chocolate chip, the question is asking us to figure out how many cookies are left. So, regar so regardless or not considering the type of cookies, we're going to just count the number of cookies itself. So she baked 12 cookies, 15, sugar, 15 cookies, and 24 cookies. So she baked them. And then Grog eats 6, 12, and 15. So how many cookies are left? Now we have 12 and negative 12, so they cancel out. 15 and negative 15, so they cancel out. So we're left with 24 minus 6, which is 18. And so we have 18 cookies left. So we have another example problem, and this one is called almost canceling. Now, um, based on the word, based on the phrase almost canceling, we can tell that it doesn't cancel out completely, but there's we can still use canceling to kind of make the problem easier because it almost cancels out. So let's look at what that looks like. Miss Q has 48 colored pencils in her art bucket. She adds a new pack of 24 pencils to the bucket and removes 25 of the old pencils. How many pencils are left in the bucket? So she has 48. She adds 24 and removes 25. Now we don't have the same numbers that are just positive and negative but we still have something that we can almost cancel out. And that is 24 and 25. Now we know that 24 and 25, they're only one number apart. But 24 is a positive and 25 is a negative. So we know that these two equal to negative one. Now we can't cancel them out, but we can know that easily that these two add up to negative one. So that gives us 48 minus 1 equals 47. Now this is much easier than adding 48 and 24 and then subtracting 25 again. So that is what we call almost cancelling. Now let's look at question 75. There are 55 bags of potato chips on the display rack at a deli. The deli sells 36 bags of chips and then adds 38 more bags to the display rack. How many bags are now on the rack? So we start with 55 and we sell 36 and then add 38 more. Now these two numbers are similar. They're only two numbers apart, but 36 is negative and 38 is positive. So added together, we know that that gives us two, right? Since 38 minus 36 is two. And so we have 55 plus two, which is 57. So we have 57 bags. Now question number 76. Florida has 120 flowers in her garden. Alec offers eat 78 of her flowers, but 75 of the flowers grow back. How many flowers does Borta have now? So we start with 120 flowers. And then Alec offers eat 78, so we subtract. But 75 grow back, so we add. 
Now, 78 and 75 are close numbers because they're only three numbers apart. 78 is negative and 75 is positive. And so 75 plus negative 78 or 75 minus 78 gives us negative 3. And so we have 120 minus 3, which is 117. So we have 117 flowers right now in total. Um, again, I'll be giving you guys two minutes to solve question 77, which is the last problem of this page. So I'll be giving you guys two minutes to solve this problem and then be going over the solutions. Again, if you need more time, just always pause the video and then come back when you're done. Okay, so let's look at question 77. In the game of thong, players earn 63 points for every clonk, but lose 62 points for every bonk. During a game, Winnie gets three clonks and three bonks. How many points does Winnie have? So, Winnie gets three clonks. And players earn, 60, earn 63 points for every clonk. And she has three clunks, so we add 63 three times. But then she gets three bonks, and so she loses 62 points for every bonk, so we do this. And so since we have, we can cancel out, or we'll almost cancel out three times. 63 and 62, that's one. Um, 63 minus 62 is 1, and 63 minus 62 is 1 again. So we basically have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3 points. Now if you guys learned multiplication, um, you guys can use multiplication and then almost cancelling out. But without multiplication, we can do that by simply doing addition and subtraction at this point. Because a lot of you guys probably didn't learn multiplication yet, and that's totally fine. And we can solve this question in using multiplication as well. But we can also do this using subtraction and addition like what we just did. So now we're going to practice almost solving or well, almost canceling more. And so we have an example. Now it's not a word problem, it's just numerical. Evaluate 73 plus 34 minus 35, right? So 34 and th negative 35 almost cancel out. That gives us negative 1. 
So we have 73 minus 1, which is 72. So using that concept of almost canceling, we're going to solve these problems. So 40, 45 plus 100 minus 99. These two almost cancel out because 100 minus 99 is 1. So we have 45 plus 1, which is 46. We're going to look at question 79 now. So we have 72 minus 55 plus 60. Now, even though these numbers aren't like one or two numbers apart, they are still pretty close because we can figure it out like right away. So six, negative 55 plus 60 or 60 minus 55 is 5. So 72 plus 5 is 77. 84 minus 36 plus 33. These two can be almost canceled out. So negative 36 plus 33 is negative 3, right? Since 33 minus 36 is negative 3. So 84 minus 3 is 81. So we'll look at question 81. 68 plus 55 minus 50. Again, these two can be almost cancelled out. 55 minus 50 is 5, so 68 plus 5. If we do the addition, that gives us 73. We'll look at question 82 now. So 436 minus 79 plus 89. These two almost cancel out because they're only 10 apart, right? And this is easy to know because the ones place is both 9, and so they're 10 apart. But it's negative 79 plus 89, so they add up to 10. 436 plus 10 equals to 446, right? And then we'll look at question 83. 839 minus 287 plus 387. Okay, so now the numbers are big, so you might think, oh, this is too hard. But we learned almost canceling, so I hope this problem becomes a bit more easier to you guys. So we have these two that can almost cancel out. Again, the tens place, ones place is the same, 87. So we know that they're 100 apart. We know that the difference between these two numbers is 100. And negative 287 plus 387 is 100. So 839 plus 100 gives us 939, right? And so we have questions 84, 85, and 86 left. And so I'll be solving 84 with you guys right now. So we have 58 plus 80 minus 76. So since these two are close, we can almost cancel them out. 80 minus 76 is 4. And so 58 plus 4 is 62. Now, um, I want you guys to solve question 85 and 86 before I go over the solutions to make sure that you have understood almost cancelling completely and that you guys can use it really easily. So I'll give you guys two minutes to solve question 85 before we move on to going over the solution. Again, if you guys need more time, just always pause the video and then come back and I'll be going over the solution after two minutes.
Okay, so we'll be going over question 85 now. So we have 49 minus 33 plus 99 plus 33 minus 100. So we'll see if we can do almost cancelling for more than two numbers. So right away we have negative 33 and plus 33. So they cancel out completely because they're the same number, just positive and negative. So they add up to zero. And then we have 99 and negative 100. So these two almost cancel out. 99 minus 100 is negative 1. And so we're left with 49 minus 1, which is 48. Now, as you can see, it would have been really difficult to add and subtract all of these numbers. But if we use canceling and almost canceling out, then we can get the answer really quickly. Um, question for 86 is a bit harder, so I'll be gi giving you guys about three minutes to solve this question. And this problem is a bit more harder than the one we've been doing so far, but I want you guys to give it a try, and then I'll be going over the solution after three minutes. Okay, so we'll look at question 86. So we have so many numbers here. So we're going to look for the ones that we can cancel or almost cancel. So we have negative 11 and 12. We can almost cancel them out. So negative 11 plus 12 is 1. Negative 13 plus 14, we can almost cancel. Again, this is equal to 1. Negative 15 and 16, almost cancel to 1. Negative 17 plus 18, almost cancel to 1. And negative 19 plus 20, almost cancel to 1. Now that gives us 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1. Okay, sorry, so that gives us, so it wasn't, it's not a negative because 
um, we did negative 11 plus 12, so that already gave us 1. So what we actually have now is 100 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we have 5 1s, and so that is going to give us 100 plus 5. And so that gives us 105. Okay, so we have our last example. Evaluate 54 plus 7, 37 plus 26 minus 37. Again, we can cancel these two out. So we have 54 plus 26, which gives us 80, right? And so um, we'll look at question 66. We can cancel these two out because they're the same, just positive and negative. And so we have 53 plus 43. And 53 plus 43 is 96. Then we have question 67. So immediately we can cancel these two out because they're the same number, just negative and positive. So we have 19 plus 7. And 19 plus 7 is 26. Now question 68. Uh, we can count. We can cancel out 43 and negative 43. So we have 36 minus 32, which is 4. Now question 69, we can cancel 88 out immediately. So we have 13 plus 35, which is 48. Um, I know that I'm going over the problems quite quickly right now because we are running out of time, but um, you guys can always feel free to go back to the question and then solve it yourselves and then check with my solutions if you need to. Question 70, looking for the same number, just positive and negative sign, we can cancel 112 out. So we have 114 minus 113, which is one. And then we have 80, um, question 71. And so, um, we can cancel 34 and 34 and and then we're gonna do almost canceling since 80 minus 79 is one. So we have one plus 67, which is 68. Question 72, we can cancel 88 out. And now we have the same number 33, but actually they're addition and addition. So it's 99 plus 33 plus 33, which is 99 plus 66. And so that is going to give us 16. So we have 165. For question 73, we're gonna look for numbers we can cancel. So nine and negative nine canceled out. Um, negative seven and seven canceled out. Negative 8 and 8 also cancelled out. So we have 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6, which is 10 plus 8 plus 12. And these two added gives us 20. So we have 10 plus 20, which is 30. Now, last problem for this video. We're going to look for ones we can cancel out. So 32 minus 32 is zero, so we cancel them out. 22 minus 22 is zero, so we cancel. And negative 33 plus 33 is zero, so we cancel. 
So we're left with 23 plus 23, which is 46. Okay, so that was it for our video today. If you guys have any questions, let me know through my email. It's Melissa Kim 555 at gmail.com. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.